Captain Lamo. <laughs> what a Reddit name. All right, sorry, I got close. Okay, so we're at the reception part of the evening. Mom is talking to bridesmaid and, brackets, no one knows what prompted this, says to her, quote, well, I guess it's a good thing you can't have kids, isn't it? Bridesmaid bursts into tears. What the heck? Oh gosh, oh gosh. Some people just like don't know not to say things, you know? Some people just don't have a filter. Some people don't think before they speak. That's the real issue. <laughs> Two moms got into a verbal argument. Then it because, oh, then it became physical. I don't know who makes the accusation, but one said they're only getting married because she's knocked up. <gasps> the tea. If I was at that wedding, again, I would feel good about the money I spent to be there. When it, like, even just being a guest, you know, it, it costs money. It's not a lot of money. I'm not saying it's like the cost of a wedding, but like it costs money to go to someone's wedding normally. And again, I would say money well spent. Does anybody have popcorn? Pour another glass of wine. I'm ready for this argument. <laughs> Better than most reality shows, I'm not gonna lie. My dad, okay, first of all, this Reddit username is Steroid Sandwich. <laughs> my dad taking pictures at my brother's wedding. It doesn't sound bad, but he was getting in the way of the photographer my brother hired. Every pic he tried to take, my dad was right beside him, inching him out and pushing him out of the way. My brother and mom were both really pissed at him. I didn't realize, but that's apparently like a huge problem at weddings. Like huge. I I'm gonna say, like, I'll probably never get married, but if I do get married, I'll say like, guys, everyone's gonna get photos don't take your own okay we i paid good money for somebody else to get these i'll make sure you get one to post on your little instagram don't you worry i want everyone to see why did i spend all this money if no one's gonna see it don't worry <laughs> me why did i spend all this money if no one's gonna see it everyone else in the world to get married to the person you love i'm like mm -mm, purely a publicity stunt <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding, Taylor. Bama lamb. <laughs> Number five from Bama lamb. The usher was handing out little pamphlets and as he did, would let every single person know that he had just gotten engaged recently. <laughs> That's the sweetest thing in the world. Are you kidding me? I would love that. I would be so happy for him. Oh my gosh, I would love that. Honestly, I don't think I'd mind that. I think that I would be like, that's really, really nice and very, very cute. I'm glad he's excited. Come on, let the man live. It's supposed to be a happy day. It's better than somebody starting drama. It's better than somebody telling someone else that good thing you can't have kids or somebody else saying, well, they're only getting married because she's knocked up. I'm like, yeah, this guy gets it. It's a day of happiness. We can all share the happiness. You know what I mean? I like that. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. My uncle got completely plastered at our open bar and then demanded the attention of the entire dance floor. Oh no. Everyone stopped and stared as he pulled his trousers all the way down, walked backwards and called it the moonwalk. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And people want to be upset that the usher was telling people he got engaged as he handed out the pamphlets. I would be upset about this. This is something that you go, I knew we shouldn't have invited Uncle Gary. <laughs> oh, anybody got an Uncle Gary out there who would do something like this? Probably. There's gotta be someone. <laughs> My cousin's wedding, the groom's drunk brother got into a fist fight with the bride's son during the reception, which was held on church property. Oh no, that is not good. That is not good. Honestly, I'll take drunk Uncle Gary over this. This is, <laughs> this video has just turned into like a would you rather. <laughs> I would rather have Uncle Gary moonwalk than have people fighting, you know? Someone bit the DJ because he refused to play a certain song. <laughs> oh God. Sometimes they don't want to play jail part two. I don't know what to tell you. Been there, experienced it. It's tragic, but they're the DJ, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, someone bit the DJ. Imagine biting someone. Just, just leave it at that. No reason. Just imagine biting another human being. Are you a baby? My ex crashed my wedding. She showed up and I had to have security kick her out because she wouldn't leave and my wife was fuming. 
rightfully so. Three years later, when she got married, I was there. I brought two friends and we made a scene. Revenge sucks. We did also get kicked out, but whatever. I wanted to ruin her day like she ruined mine. That is a level of petty that, listen, this is, might be an unpopular opinion, but I aspire to be that petty. And that's what happens. Actions have consequences. I was gonna say mistakes have consequences, but that wasn't a mistake. You decided to do that. Actions have consequences. And sometimes those consequences come three years later. The mother of the groom literally got up, pushed the bride out of the way and told the groom, the bride's not good enough for you. I set you up on eight dates this month and they're all perfect. And then she continued to drunkenly scream at them. It was especially crazy because the families had been friends for decades. What do you mean it was especially crazy because of that? I'm like, the whole thing is insane. The mother of, what the heck? Oh gosh. Why do people think the wedding is the time to speak up? Assuming this person got married in their late 20s, early 30s, you had all of that time to tell them who you think that they should marry and you chose their wedding day at the wedding? Just seems like you had a, lo a large window of opportunity and you chose the worst time. Ex-girlfriend of the groom showed up at the wedding uninvited and drunk. He broke up with her 10 years earlier and has not seen her in over eight years. She was loud and saying very perverted things about what she wanted to do to the groom. The bride steps up, goes all out and punches the ex in the face, knocks the ex out cold. I want everyone to know that I would 1000% do the exact same thing. Also, what a great wedding story. You KO'd somebody on your wedding day in your nice fancy dress? Money well spent, that's all I'm saying. I'd pay more to see that than I would a Jake Paul fight. <laughs> A drunk ex-uncle, <laughs> ex-uncle, holy. <laughs> a drunk ex-uncle showed up to my cousin's wedding and made her dance with him, interrupting the bride and groom's first dance. He was not invited. Oh, that's so bizarre. That's very weird. Apparently if I ever get married, I need to hire a security team because everyone's just showing up at these weddings. bad that bride looks so upset i mean like rightfully so but like oh my god again you have so much time to air your grievances why now why when we're at the altar when we're saying i do is not the time to bring up your opinion during his speech, the divorced father of the groom started going on and on about how much better his new wife was compared to his old wife. Oh my God. Sir, this is not your wedding, okay? Save that for your wedding. Well, I guess you already got married, but anyway, you had your chance to talk about how great your new wife is, okay? Wow, what a, what a mess. I almost cursed, my apologies. What a mess. All right guys, that's all the clips and photos and crazy wedding things we have for you today. I had a great time with you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh God. At a wedding of all places? Just not the time, lady. It's never the time to say that to someone. What the heck? I didn't mean that. Of course I didn't mean that. coffee break. Oh, we got a video number 12 in three, two. Okay, the world is ending outside. I don't know if you can hear that. It's so loud. It might be a train. I'm just gonna give it a second to pass. It's so loud. <laughs> I hope you can hear it or else I just sound insane.